Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. Today I'm going to show you the Hoffinser top change and I'm going to do it outside because we all need that. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so there are a number of top changes that you can look into and learn about and read. There's one-handed top change, there's regular top changes, there's Hoffinser top changes. The Hoffinser top change is my favorite go-to top change uh, for small audiences where I can't get the normal misdirection you'd need uh, to do a regular top change. If you guys want to learn more about a regular top change, please leave me a comment down below and we'll do a video on it. But this top change, I'm going to cut down to a different angle. What makes this top change different is that you don't need to be, have wide sweeping movements to cover it. You just need a little brush of the thumb and the card changes. Um, Pretty cool, especially if you're working in tight quarters or for one person, or you just the routine doesn't make sense for you to be sweeping from one side to the other as in a traditional top change. Again, if you want to learn more about that, leave me a comment down below and I'll do a video on that change as well. So here's the mechanics of it. Is that, let's say I have a card I want to exchange for a different card. In this case, I have the eight and I want to exchange it for the four of diamonds. So the way that I do that is that I come in here and then I'm letting go of the card, but just, just a little bit. See, my thumb is not going to, uh, it's going to look like it's making contact with that card or keeping in contact with that card, but it's not. It's going to allow the top card, which was the eight, to slide out from beneath it. And your fingers underneath are what are creating all the friction to grab that bottom card out. Okay, and your thumb's just clamping down. Hard enough to keep this card in place, the, the new top card, but not so hard that you pinch all the cards because then you're going to have a hard time removing that second one, okay? That's a, a common problem that I see a lot of people have with it, is you're not really pushing down real hard with your thumb. You're just holding back enough tension to keep that one card in place, okay? So the eight for the four. I come in like this, and then I do a flick. And see, I've just drawn that eight off and pulled out the four in the same motion. Let's do that slow motion so you can kind of see. They're just exchanging one for the other, like that. Face up looks like this. The four, the eight. The four, you're almost doing like this water wheel thing. And you notice my right hand is staying stationary. It's not going anywhere, but my left hand is doing all of the moving. And it's a good idea to give it like maybe a couple of flicks beforehand so that way whenever you do the final one when it's actually going to uh, change the card out, the people are used to that. It's kind of an idea of hiding something by conditioning your audience to expect that motion and so that way it's not just you know because then that's that's real obvious um, uh, yeah, I did promise you a variation here at the end here um, this is really cool uh, you can actually use this as kind of a way to switch cards like that too which has a certain nifty look to it and all I'm doing here is exactly the same thing except I'm as I exchange and I get my fingers underneath that other card, I hold onto it, and instead of doing a flick, my whole left hand takes that top card away and the rest of the deck, and immediately moves forward to like place them on a table or to point to somebody. So now you're doing like this kind of thing. Hey, did you notice what I did there? Boom, you can switch them out one for another. So there's the eight. Here, I want you to notice this. Watch the card, it changes to the four. Super, super useful, very deceptive, even better than just a straight uh, top uh, change if you want to do that. Okay guys, so that's the Hoffinser top change with that little cool variation at the end. Uh, really, really useful utility, something that I use constantly. It's great for two card Monty. Jay Sankey has some really interesting work on it. Uh, you can, f I'll leave a link for that down below. I think that's in his Firestarters DVD, which is fantastic. I know I've been mentioning Jay Sankey a lot. Um, I'm not sponsored by him or anything. I don't sell any of his products, but what I do uh, is have a huge amount of, of appreciation and respect for him and I do use a lot of his uh, work in my own work. He was a huge influence on me when I was younger and uh, that's why that's coming up so much. I know a lot of his work. Uh, I have to thank my patrons. You guys are keeping me afloat right now, quite literally. Uh, without your help, I would this would not be possible. So thank you guys very much. Their names are scrolling across the screen now. We actually have a new addition in Earl. So thank you, Earl, for uh, joining uh, Patreon. And if you guys want to look into that and learn more about Patreon, I'll leave links for that in the description below. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a great week. Stay happy, uh, get some sunshine, and I will see you all next week. Cheers.